Okay, so what you guys have been waiting for, ACX. I've been doing research on it, and um, I actually ordered a microphone off of Amazon. So I ordered a microphone. Once I get it, and I, when I start this process, because I'm going to try it. When I try it and I start it, I'm going to tell you, like, I'm going to take you guys along the journey of becoming a voice actor with me. So I've done research and there are people out there that I mean it's it's kind of like it's almost like it's been a secret but there are a lot of people that do this currently and this is double interesting for me because I am a book author and I would love to hire a voice actor for my own books or I don't know maybe do it myself you know you read by the author I don't know I'm looking into it so I'm excited I'm excited about this new journey you know just adding to my journey is this all a journey along the journey you know <laughs> so uh, from other people that I've seen that have been doing the voice acting some of them say oh you don't need a lot of fancy equipment you just need a really good mic you need a really quiet area you want a mic where it's not going to pick up static like this mic is probably not ideal so I that's why I ordered a mic and you don't want you know like any outside noise or um, what the, like garbage in the background you know any, anything like that you just want to make sure that it is very clear like any audiobook that you have ever heard so you don't have to spend like gobs and gobs of money to begin I um, watched this uh, YouTube video of this one lady she was being interviewed and as to how she started and she said she actually started doing it in her bathroom so she didn't you know I don't think she had children so she didn't have to worry about the noise but she was doing it in her bathroom because the sound you know think about why do people sing in the shower because it sounds great like the way your your voice bounces off the walls it sounds beautiful <laughs> even if you can't sing like me but you know when I'm in the shower I'm I'm uh, Mariah Carey okay so when you're starting off you don't have to spend a lot of money but there are some things to take into consideration I am going to go through the website and how that looks and different steps on how they tell you on they tell you what to take right but just keep in mind with this not everybody is meant to be a voice actor it's not as easy as it may seem because you're dealing with authors okay you have to audition first and then you have to go through you're being paid by the authors you come to an agreement with the authors and then there are differences such as royalty payment or just one lump sum payment and if you choose royalty payments which I'm going to talk about in the video when I show you the website royalties mean you know when the author makes money you make money if the author's not making any money and they're not selling anything then everything you invested it, you just did it for free until the author makes money if you do one you know lump sum which is probably what I'm going to do I'm going to research like the going rate if you do lump sum then they just pay you you know they just say here here's your money thank you and then you don't see anything else if it becomes like a New York hit or whatever then you just got your one payment you're not getting paid every time the book is sold keep that in mind so that's something cons to consider in your journey on how you want to get paid so that's one thing thing number two uh, it takes it could take someone had said it could take a lot of takes it could take a lot of trial and error and then if you send something to the author and there's something that they don't like and they want you to change something you may have thought it was great but then you have to go and re-record something because you're doing it you know that's your client you want to make the client happy so you could put in a lot of hours for a book and depending on how long the book is so keep all those things in mind it's not just like okay it's not like reading a story at circle time you know you don't just it's not a take it or leave it type thing in that industry in the industry of voice acting it's just like movies yeah like movies actors you know they're like take okay you know I want you to do this you know the producer is going to give the actors some direction they might allow some freestyle in certain areas but they're going to give them direction as to 
how they want it to go the producers the directors they're going to direct they're going to you know share the vision they want the actors to fulfill the vision so being a voice actor or how I call it voice acting so doing voice acting or narrating a story you are the actor and they are the author or whoever is paying you the client is the director or the producer okay so keep those things in mind so let's look at the website and kind of see how this goes I'm excited you guys let's go here we go ACX and you can just simply go to acx.com so I went to this website after doing some research and I was like oh okay and they actually tell you on the side here first it tells you about your rights uh, referral program promotional codes blah 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 how it works authors authors as narrators narrators print publishers but we're gonna go the shortcut way because if you guys want to read all that you can go through the links but let's get an idea of what this looks like so it says start your audio book career now let's get into the steps because it's telling you get noticed get together get it done get paid is it really that easy now I do know I've seen other videos where they say that you need fancy microphones um, just different things that you need to make sure your voice is clear and I guess crisp probably like a microphone like this dude here this guy with the hat on maybe a microphone kind of like that maybe like a microphone like the people that do ASMR those type of microphones you may need that type of microphone especially if you're as animated as I am <laughs> and you want to add some sound effects into your reading not everybody appreciates my animation I've seen the comments but I mean I'm for everyone you know I'm here for everyone but I may not be for everyone you get what I mean so it's the same when you are a, a voice actor you know I'm just gonna call it voice actor when you're a voice actor or a, in this title I guess audio book narrator your voice your style may be for some authors it may not be for some authors but you're here for it am I right so here's how it works it tells you to create a profile We're not going to go into the whole setup of a profile. So you guys know pretty much how to set up a profile. You know, it's personal information setting it up. So then So then after you set up the profile, it's going to ask you to upload some samples. So let's click on that link and see where it takes us. Oh wow. It says we are currently experiencing a higher than normal volume of audiobook submissions. So it may take longer for your sample to reach retailers. This process can take up to 30 business days. Hmm. So in the event changes are needed and your title is not retail ready. Okay, so if you have to change anything and resubmit it or add anything to your submission, then it says the 30 day time frame will begin again it'll start all the way over <laughs> oh my goodness all of this everything is being affected everything is being affected by this um you know the situation so this is what it looks like when you go into submission to submit how can I use a sample on my producer profile how do I edit my profile and samples so you go through here and it tells you how to do that and just doing your autos your um, your samples here so it says tag an unlimited number of samples in your profile based on accent genre and style so when you click on the link it just takes takes you to the the help window now how do you want to get paid so you put in and it explains to you how that is how you are paid and it says if you're unsure choose both so definitely to start off I'd probably choose both searching for books so you have to create create your own audio samples so find something created just 
make it original where you have this audio sample make it awesome something think of it as a an, it, I mean really what it is it's an audition it's your but you're creating your own made-up audition you're making your own material you probably don't want it to be too long but make it long enough so they can see your style see how you would uh, fluctuate your voice or change your voice or anything like that how would you add emotion in your voice give them a sample then you want to go and audition that's where you search for books now I went to this section and look at these titles oh wow that wasn't at the top last time <laughs> that wasn't at the top at all so we're just gonna skip right on through that and wow they have quite some titles on here wow none of those were at the top when I went through so that just shows me that they change quite often so looking through these are people that are looking for they're looking for people oh no 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 let's keep going let's keep going well, I like that bedtime stories one so oh no let's just go on past that real quick so I hope you guys get an idea of it could be all type of stuff oh no 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 <laughs> let's do some skipping around shall we this is getting wow there's so much let's let's go back so many different genres but you have to kind of figure out what do you want to put your voice on what is something you want to put your voice on and then whatever you choose like the genre whatever your genre style is that's probably going to be along the lines of the the style of authors that will probably hire you or contact you in the future for future work let's just keep this going so um, I'm not seeing a lot of stuff for children is mostly adult mostly but I did let's go back to that first one I think that was on there was what I think it was on page four maybe I'm trying to see if I can find that child one wow they, they completely move around they'll move around on you for sure so it's not going to necessarily be in the same spot the best advice my dad ever gave me let's just go to that one this looks safe so the best advice my dad ever gave me this is for the project budget they're willing to share their royalties so whatever money they make on it you could get royalties off of it word count 205 mm, it doesn't give you an estimated length you can see that here so it kind of breaks it down for you it kind of breaks it down for you and this is a world this is something to be distributed it says like the territory is the world so it could be distributed anywhere and you can kind of get an idea of what it's about if you had questions now if you wanted to audition it says producer if you're ready to audition view the audition script below or log in to upload your completed audition then to learn more you can click here now download audition script so you download it and I'm just gonna download it there and see what happens when I open it let's see what this looks like I don't have Microsoft Word so it pulled up in WordPad for me if you had Microsoft Word it'll probably pull up as a word document there we go so looking at this going through reading it so you would start reading it you would read 
how what direction would you go with your voice kind of think of that when you're reading through so they will give you the text to read they will give it to you and so you have to think how are you going to deliver this how are people going to read this in their heads how do you see people reading that in your head so hopefully that gives you an idea of what it looks like it gives you kind of an idea of what that looks like so going back let's go back to the initial page well that was really interesting to see what type of books they had on here to offer and then once the basically the rights holder the person who wrote the book most likely agrees to hey I want to go ahead and hire you then you accept the offer you go through that agree on delivery dates for the first 15 minutes of audio the final audio payment and payment terms then you start recording you start recording so if they agree hey yes I want to hire you you will start recording and it says you upload at a 15 minute checkpoint so you'll go through it there and then you get to work with other studio professionals you can get, get to finish the recording get paid and you come back for more now my mic that I have here is not an ideal mic you know my just regular headset is not an ideal mic to use so let's go on Amazon that's just where I'm gonna go because I get a lot of things on Amazon so we're going to go to mm, let's go to professional professional mic and let's get a idea of what this would cost like um, yeah this karaoke machine mic is definitely definitely not a professional mic so maybe something like this this USB streaming podcast PC mic that might be something ideal for you that's that's affordable $68.99 let's get some prices here $60.58 74 so now you have an idea of what you would need to invest into yourself to get started into something like this now just because you make the investment there's no guarantee as we know so maybe if you want it to if you invest into it think about what the resale option is now I'm not speaking failure because I'm all about speak success speaking into existence but I'm just being just giving you ideas in case you decide you know what this is not what I want to do this is more work than I realize let's look at this $45 one USB microphone streaming over broadcast plug and play and then they tell you they show you it tilts I always look at the reviews they, they show you the size comparison okay so let's look at the reviews on this thing and I try to look to see what are people using this mic for this person says great for podcasting voiceovers and basic music recording excellent microphone for the price hmm. lighter better looking and overall better sound than the Yeti hmm okay but these are kind of old 2017 but still they're reviews this is a pretty long review so you can read through this is what I like to do loud and clear all right my review is a bit unconventional they said this microphone seems to be used for creating music and I'm not a musician I'm just a gamer who hates have to who hates wearing uncomfortable gaming headsets during raid all right so now this person gave it four stars sensitivity is lower than I would have liked you need to keep it pretty close to yourself for the audio to be significant significantly loud okay so keep that in mind keep that in mind that if you want it I guess if you want it to be loud then you have to keep it close to you according to that person so I would go through look at all the the reviews that you think basically are pertaining to what you're wanting to use it for this 
is like this is just a quick search obviously I didn't go in depth I'm not familiar with it so I'm not recommending anything but I'm just telling you what I do so $45.99 a lot of people ask me where did you get your headset you know what I've just been with Logitech since I first started teaching online and I've never had a problem with it but when I'm teaching in the classroom I notice that it's clear but when I record over my videos when I'm doing a voiceover or screen recorder for some reason I can hear a buzzing in the background many times when I'm using a screen recorder now when I'm just using my regular camera my webcam then there's not the buzzing sound so maybe when you're doing these voice samples listen to it yourself and see what it's been, try to see what's being produced when you're using it so let's go back let's go back to our website just so we know that it's easy to get to acx.com bam took us right back so there you go and this is actually the main page are you an actor or producer already have audio get the skills to get the skills to succeed so look they tell you you could just go and just play around on this page but I know a lot of people don't have time to do the research and go in there you're just like point me in the right direction so here you go if you're looking to turn your book into an audiobook like I am that's something I'm looking to do but I don't know how to do all that by myself so this might be something that I would be looking into maybe to get somebody else other than my own voice to do my own books so this is if you're an author or you're looking to be the person to be the voice actor I'm just gonna say voice actor the voice actor for the books there you go acx.com that's one site when I get some more information about the other ones and I kind of play around with it then we'll have more to go off of there so here we go back to me being on camera now this is me using my screen recorder here which is why you see like the little camera <laughs> the little camera button right there because I'm using my screen recorder to record my screen instead of just my webcam solely recording it for me so you can see what the difference is when I use like a secondary recording device and hopefully this was helpful for you and this gave you kind of a direction to go on researching how to get into the world of being the voice of books now you saw now it depends on what type of books you want to be a voice of because the books that I saw that's not the direction, that's not the direction that I'm trying to go that's just me so go through that I just kind of had to skip around and even then I don't know I might have to edit some stuff out but go through and look through titles and think about kind of like in movies you know how people are typecasted in movies and when you hear that voice of a person or you see somebody you're like that person always plays a jerk you know you know those actors or actresses you know she's always evil she's always she's always uh, silly or he's always a jerk she's always a bad guy there's gonna be some double crossing in this movie because this person is always sneaky they, they always play a sneaky character you know how they're typecasted in the movies well depending on what your style is and what genre you're looking for to delve into you could be typecasted as a voice actor as well so I would be very interested to hear how it goes or anybody maybe there's someone out there that's experienced I've gotten some comments on my last video or my actually it was a, a post that I made saying that there were some people out there that have been into the world of being a voice actor or audiobook narrator and I would love to hear more about it maybe I can do an interview so if anyone's willing to do an interview for us people that are looking to dig into it and we're looking for that starting point then drop your information down below contact me my email miss lala m s l a l a books at gmail.com and we can do an interview and hey we can shed some light on this because that's what this channel is all about helping others help me help you help them <laughs> let's lift each other up so as always ttf 
my shirt is dirty because I just got done cleaning and teaching. It was a mess. In.